to use Samsung Pay in Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 6, we first need to open up the Galaxy Store. And in here, we search for the Samsung Wallet and we download the free Samsung Wallet app. Once installed, we will open up the Samsung Wallet and we'll select our country and then we'll select continue. Allow the notification permission and then log in to your Samsung account. Then agree to any permissions. We now need to turn on the verification method. So every time you make a payment, you need to either use your fingerprint or use a pin. The fingerprint is faster, so let's select to use fingerprint. And then we just scan our fingerprint on the sensor. Set a pin, so this is something you need to memorize. This can be the same pin you use to unlock your Z Flip 6 if you would like. Now we need to add a card, we need to add the card to quick access. So what we're going to do is we're going to tap on the all option and then we will see the payment cards. We will select this one. And so I've already used Samsung Pay, so it shows my card. However, if you don't see a card, you need to add it. So we'll tap the plus at the top right to add a new card. And taking pictures, this is so it can scan your card, quickly add it. So we'll allow the camera permission. You can also add using NFC where you put your card next to the phone. So I'm going to do the add using NFC. And so I'm just going to take my card and I'm just going to hold it near the back of the Z Flip 6 like this. And once this is done, you will see, well I've hidden it, but it will automatically fill in all of your card details other than the card holder name. Once your card is added, make sure you add all the information it asks. We will agree to the terms and conditions. We then need to verify our card. If you skip this, you can't actually pay with stuff in Samsung Pay. So this is very important, you do this immediately. So I will select the open banking app option. You can call the bank if you don't have online banking. So once we've done this, we need to check our phone for the banking. And so I personally use an iPhone, don't boom me, but you can see add card to Samsung Wallet. You can see location. And so we just want to select the add through our banking app. And then once this is done, you'll see a notification that says that the card is activated. So because I didn't actually open a banking app on this phone, it won't you know, go through this screen. So we'll just select later and then we'll leave this one. And so now we need to add the card to the quick access because right now we can't actually make any payments. So we're going to tap on the all option. Then we will go into the payment cards again. Then we will tap on our payment card. And then we will tap the three dots at the top right. And we're going to set this one as our default card. Now this is added. So if we head out, under the quick access, we now see our payment card. So this is showing a tutorial on how to make payments. So what we need to do is if our phone is locked and please keep on watching. So if our phone's locked, the first way to make a payment is if we just swipe up from the bottom like this and we enter in our fingerprint, you hold this part of the phone near the reader and make a payment. However, there is an alternate way if you want. Of course, you can swipe up in the inside screen here and then add your fingerprint. However, we can make it so when you double click the power button, it goes into the Samsung Pay. So in order to program that, we will long press both power and volume down. So press and hold these two firmly and release when we see this menu. Then we will select the side button settings and under the double press option, we'll select Samsung Wallet Quick Access. This means you won't be able to double uh, click the power button to open camera. So keep that in mind. 
And now, don't know why it's doing that, we'll just double click the power button and then we'll hold on the fingerprint reader and that will take us to the Samsung Pay. And so you just need to, you know, hold your phone next to the card reader with this back part and it will make a payment. So Samsung Pay, very complicated. Google Pay, a lot easier, Apple Pay, a lot easier. But once it works, Samsung Pay is the best way to pay because it even supports card readers which don't support Samsung Pay or Apple Pay or Google Pay. That's why Samsung Pay is so good. So I hope this helps.